Hey guys, Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to start a Minecraft 1.10. Just came out today, how to start a 1.10 server. Now, keep in mind, this is not a 24-hour server, meaning it's only up and running when your computer's on, when you're actually playing on it, and when it's using your own computer's resources, which is a big deal. Also, it's not, like, protected in any way because it uses your public IP address, which you don't want to give anyone you do not trust. Trust. Now, luckily, I've got a solution for this. It's called Apex Minecraft Hosting, nixgamescom slash Apex. First link down below. Go to in there, click that. You can get an awesome 24-hour server that is up all the time when your computer's offline. It doesn't use your own computer's resources. And, more importantly, it doesn't use your public IP address, meaning people can't take down your entire internet just because they find your Minecraft server. So, anyway, you can check that out down below. Get an amazing Minecraft server for just $3 per month. Optimize for 1.10 and everything. NixGames.com slash Apex. First link down below. Now anyway, if you don't want a 24-hour server, you just want a server that is up and running when your computer's up and running and all that stuff, let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, we need to go to Minecraft.net slash download, where down at the bottom here is you play with friends, right? We want to click set up your own Minecraft server right here. Set up your own Minecraft server. Click that, it takes us here, where we then want to download Minecraft 1.10.jar. So click that, and as you can see, it downloads right in the bottom. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser. We'll be back. Let's minimize it for now. And here is the server file we downloaded. Luckily, on that page, there was a lot of information, and you can disregard all of it. We're going to help you with all that. All of this information right here doesn't matter, because we're this is what the tutorial's for, so you can skip through all that. Anyway... Let's go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop. We can name this folder anything. I'm going to name it MC 1.10 server, right like so. And then we want to take this that we downloaded and drag it into that. We then want to open this file we created, or this folder we created. And then we just want to double click on Minecraft underscore server dot 1.10. Now if there is a jar, or like a WinRAR file there, or a 7-zip file, right, and it's not like a jar coffee cup, no worries, down below there's a link in the uh, FAQ section as to how to change that to the coffee mug. It's really, really simple. Don't worry about it. Just go down there and click that. Come back and it should work. Nevertheless, once you've double clicked on it, as you can see we get a few things here, but this is far from everything we need for a Minecraft server. Why? Because we have to agree to the EULA, the EULA. So go ahead and open up the EULA here. It opened on my second monitor, and as you can see, you have to agree to everything right here, and I actually just looked at it because I heard there might be some changes. I don't think there were, but anyway, just looked at it. This server is not going to break the ULA at all. What you want to do is copy that, paste it, make sure your server won't, and if it won't, come down here where it says EULA equals false, and change it to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, just like that. Then we want to file, save. Make sure it's saved. If it does not save, the next step will not work. So you can close out of it and then open it up again. And if it's there, you're good. And now we can go ahead and double click on Minecraft underscore server dot one dot ten again. And now the rest of the server will generate. As you can see, it opens up the like box there. The rest of the server generates in the background. It's spawning area. And as soon as it's done spawning area, as you can see, it says done there. We can come down here in this box and type stop. S-T-O-P. Enter. And it will stop the server. If you don't do that, it will keep it up in the background even if it's you don't know it's there, right? So make sure you always type stop in that box. Okay, so now that that is done, it's time to open command prompt. Which this is where a lot of people get scared with Minecraft servers. I don't really understand why. It's not that big of a deal. It's really simple. Just follow along step by step. I've taught millions of people how to start a server. It'll be good. Anyway, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. And then type CMD. Just like that. Command CMD, hit enter, and it will open up the black box, which scares so many people. Anyway, I'm going to move this up to the corner, and once we've done that, we now want to type IP config. IP C O N F I G. Hit enter, and it gives us a bunch of information, but the only things we need is right here the IPv4 address and the default gateway. As long as you've got both of those there, we're good to go. If you don't have anything else, which most of this is blurred for you, but if you don't have anything else, no worries. But what we need is 1.9.2, or I'm sorry, the default gateway and the IPv4 address. So once we've got those, we need to come back over here to our server file and we want to open up 
server right here. This is properties file. The first time you open it, it'll probably be like, what do you want to open this with? You want to open it with notepad, no big deals there. So open this with notepad and then scroll down until you see server-ip, which is located right here. So server-ip equals the IPv4 address found over here. For me, that's 192.168.1.18. Dot one eight one for you. It's probably something completely different. Don't worry about that. That's okay Just copy whatever is over here next to the IPv4 address this number Copy that over and you'll be good to go once you've done that you can click file and Save and you're done with this now. Let's go back to our browser here And kind of get it to where we can see the black box because the black box is important Black box is, uh, is there for quite a while, in all honesty. So, I do want to mention here that you do need to make sure that you have Java downloaded. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. If you don't have the correct version of Java, this isn't going to work. So, make sure that's there. This link is the second down below. You can go in here and download the most updated version of Java uh, to make sure this server gets up and running correctly. But, uh, nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on over to here. Now, the reason this page is up is because we need to log into our router. Well, Nick, how do we do that? How do we get logged into our router? Well, open up a new tab in your web browser and type the default gateway over here. As you can see, for me, that's 192.168.1.1. Hit enter, and boom, it takes me to where I can log into my router. Now, for you, if it doesn't do that, contact your ISP, right? Contact your ISP. They should be able to help you out. If they can't, sorry, but most of the time, from my experience, 98% of the time, if you can't find this, if your default gateway does not work to log into your router, you can contact your ISP and they'll be able to help you out. Nevertheless, once you're on your login page, it'll probably look something completely different from what I have here. That's okay. But before we even get started with how to do your specific one, which I'll show you how to figure out, we need to get your password. So, go to the third link or fourth link. I don't even know anymore. I can't keep up down below. And uh, it's routerpasswords.com and we can go here and find whatever kind of router you have. For me, for example, I used to have a Netgear. So, let's find, see if we can't find Netgear on here. Netgear, find password. And then here are tons of different Netgear routers. I used to have the WGT right down here, I think. Where was it at? Is that the top? It wasn't the top. So right here, admin and password. So what that means is in the username column on here, I would enter admin. And then for password, I would enter password. Now, if this does not work, right? If you've made it to this page and this does not work, talk to the person who set up your network. This might be your dad, this might be your sister, might be your significant other. Whoever set up the network in your house, the router, whenever you got your internet installed, talk to them because they probably know your email and password or username and password to log into the router. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and log into mine and luckily with LastPass and Password Manager, it's super easy. So there we go. I have now logged into my router. Now, once you get into your router, again, it's going to look something exactly or completely different and most likely completely different from what we see here. How do you do it with your specific router? Well, luckily, there's a link down below. I believe it's the fifth link down below is this website where you can scroll down, find the kind of router you have, and then go through the port forwarding tutorials found on these pages so yeah that's how you can find out how to do it with your specific router there are tons and tons and tons of different kinds of routers i don't have time to go through them all nor do i have access to all of them I mean, look at this these are all just netgear routers so what are we going to do we're going to go ahead and move on and you can figure out how to port forward specifically with yours here however i don't think you'll need that why because you're looking for the same thing no matter what router you want for me, for example, I go to security, and then from security, I go to apps and gaming. So when I get in apps and gaming, I find what I'm looking for, which is single port forwarding. For you, you might be looking for advanced admin and then port forwarding, but what you need to find is port forwarding. Mine's called single port forwarding. Yours might just be called port forwarding. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you find port forwarding. Forwarding. That's all you've got to worry about. Port forwarding. Once you've found that, you're good to go. So if I go ahead and click single port forward here, as you can see, there's a previous Minecraft server there. We'll just delete that. But 
And what you've got found port forwarding, adding is super easy. Just click add a new port forward, add a new application, add a new single port forward, whatever it is for you, click add new, and then you can name it whatever, the name doesn't matter, I'm gonna name it Minecraft Server. For the external port, it is 25565. For the internal port, it's also 25565. And then for protocol, you want both. Now for device IP, you know how I said that we were going to be using this IPv4 address a lot? Well, that's what device IP is. So for device IP, it's your IPv4 address, which for me is 192.168.1.181. It's 181. There we go. All right. The hard part is done. A few more mentions on port forwarding. You might have external and internal port like me. You might not. You might have just like two different ports here listed. And you might go, what? What the hell is that? What's going on? You know, don't worry about it. Just put for both ports, 25565. Doesn't matter what they're called, because they're called a lot of different things, but you want to do 25565. For protocol, right? You might not be called protocol. For you, it could be both, like it is for me, or it could be TCP slash UDP. TCP slash UDP is the same thing as both. If you don't have both, look for both. You might be in the wrong place. For example, port ranges do not have both. Single port forwards do. However, if you can't find it, you're on a port forward, you know you're in the right place, do it twice. Do this once, so you can do Minecraft server UDP, and then add it, and then do another one, Minecraft server TCP, same information, just doing protocol TCP once, and then protocol UDP again. Anyway, that is everything with Minecraft servers. You can go ahead and hit save, then you can hit apply, okay, whatever your router does, and the hard part is done everybody the hard part is done we can close out of everything but a google search tab because we're going to need google search here in just a moment so let's minimize the browser take note of your ipv4 just over here for me again 192.168.1.1 let's go ahead and start our server to do that you want to just double click again on minecraft underscore server dot one dot ten It'll open up our handy little box, which we will then take and put right over here with our black box. So I'm gonna need boxes. Now, we wanna go ahead and open up Minecraft. So let's open up Minecraft. This is actually the first time I've booted into 1.10. So let's go ahead at the profile and make sure I'm on the correct version for you guys here. 1.10, there we go. Hit play and it will now boot into Minecraft 1.10 to test the server and make sure it's working locally. We need to join it off of this over here, 192.168.181. For me, for you, it might be, again, something completely different. And if that's the case, don't worry about it. Just enter whatever your IPv4 address is. And for me, 192.168.1.181. We can then go ahead and click join server and it will boot on into the server as you can see over here nix games is now in the server now the problem with this is that i'm not admin right this is my server but i'm not admin how do i make myself admin well i just simply come over here and type slash or well is it even slash anymore i don't even think i have to do slash then you just type op and then your username so op nix games hit enter and i'm correct no slash and then as you can see in the game, opt nix games. And there we go. So now I can do all the crazy stuff like slash uh, game mode one. Like I can go into creative and stuff. So you want to be very, very careful as to who you give opt to, right? Only give it to uh, people you trust and truly only let people you trust on this server. But if you're able to join off your IPv4 address, that's not how your friends join. That's just how you can join and how we can make sure the server is up and that there's no issues in starting the server. How do we see if it is public? Well, you know that Google tab I was talking about? Go back to it and simply type in IP, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of our friendly black box there. And there is my public IP address. Now for you, it's black box 1.3, right? So it's not anything crazy. But the reason I leave the 1.3 unblocked is so you guys know I'm not using a different IP address than what is here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and then go over to Minecraft here and then direct connect instead of, by the way, you don't have to direct connect, but I'm gonna, instead of direct connecting to this address, which is our IPv4 address, we are going to connect to our public IP. Notice the server is still up and running over here. So let's go ahead and click join server and boom, there we go. It joined right on in. What this means is your friends can join your server. 
Just give them your public IP address that you found on Google and you're good to go. That's how your friends join through that public IP. And if you've made it this far, if you now have been able to join off of your public IP address, start inviting some people you trust, your friends, your family. Again, you don't want to invite people you do not explicitly trust to this server because people can and will. I've seen it happen before with people who have started servers like this and not heeded my advice. Take your internet down and, 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 and hurt um, your internet where you have to contact your ISP and get new IPs and it's a big, 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 big mess. So uh, yeah, be sure to only give this to people you trust. Anyway, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed. If you want a server that you can give to anyone that you could literally post in the comment section of this video, it wouldn't matter. Go to nixgames.com slash apex. First link down below and get an incredible Minecraft server for just $3 per month. Again, optimized for 1.10 and everything. It is insane. I'm Nix Games. Thank you so much for watching. Smack that thumbs up if you got a server. If you didn't get a server and still enjoyed the video, thought it was entertaining, stupid phone, please give it a thumbs up. Really helps me out. I'm Nix Games. Yet again, I suck at outros. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Also, subscribe to the channel. I make awesome Minecraft videos every Monday and Tuesday, and then like tech videos the rest of the week. It's awesome stuff. Anyway, I I'm out, guys. Bye!